Hey guys, Pogo here, and welcome to the next episode of JavaFX 101. In this episode, we're going to look at input fields. If you want to get users input, uh, one of the best ways to do it is by using an input field so they can type in their response to a question, uh, and then you can actually get the text that they typed in. So we're going to do this by using the text field node. So let's go ahead and create one. We'll say text field field is equal to new text field. And we, we're just going to use the default constructor. Make sure we use the javafx.scene.control.text field, not the um, AWT version. Um, and as you can see, we now have declared a text field. This will, of course, be empty, but if we wanted to specify text to go in in the beginning, we could put that in quotation marks. Um, so what are a few interesting methods in here? Because obviously it gets all of the different methods here. And there's a lot of them. Uh, but what are some of the most important methods? Um, first, let's take a look at the events. The one, the probably the most important event for a... Uh, text field would be the on key press. So we'll go ahead and write an event handler for key event. And that needs like a public void handle, I believe. So first we want to do javafx.scene.input. Organize imports and unimplemented methods. There we go. So right in here, this is going to be important because whenever a key is pressed, we can see what the key was pretty much. So if we do e dot get, you can get the character for whatever key was pressed. But probably better is if you do get code, it'll return the key code. And key code is um, either a class or an enumerator. Okay, it's an enumerator that contains all of the different possible codes. So what we'll do is, let's say that if they press enter, we want to show them, we want to print out their response. So we're going to say if e dot get code is equal to key code dot enter. So if they press the enter button, then we're going to print out field dot get text. So if I press the enter button, it will print out the text of the field, basically, whatever is inside of the field. So now we'll go ahead and add the field and now as you can see we have this nice text field here so I can say hello there uh, whatever just takes regular text input and you know any sort of I guess none of those were symbols but any sort of symbols obviously would, would work in here and if I press enter you'll see that it says hello there so um, any other key obviously doesn't work, but when I press enter, it does print out the exact text contents of um, this text field. So that's how you would be able to get the text inside of the field. One last quick thing that's important, if I change this from text field to password field, it will work almost the same except that everything I typed will be dots. If I press enter you can still see what I typed in as plain text but when I'm actually typing it in uh, everything appears as dots or bullet points rather than the actual letters. So obviously if you're doing a password or some sort of confidential information you could use the password field to hide whatever the user is typing in. So that's all for this video. I just wanted to show you guys text fields and I guess also password fields, although they're just a uh, small difference from a text field. So as always, subscribe if you want to see more. Comment with what you want to learn. If you like this video, click the like button, and I'll see you guys soon with some more coding. Bye for now.